I'm the Lord. And I'm the Lady. And welcome, welcome to, to Stitchshire. Stitchshire. My name is Sarah. And I'm Koi. This is a channel about cross stitch. And our lives. Yeah. And other things that come up from time to time. First things first, we're having a bit of a thunderstorm. And I insisted on us go ahead and record. Because <laughs> so, we've put it off um, a lot. and uh, not by a day. we put it off a day. A lot. <laughs> and I just saw the lights flicker. So we'll see. Fantastic. Just add to the suspense of if we have yeah. to wait for the lights to turn. start off with anything you can say at all okay so first things first um, y'all know a while back we posted um, we actually had to miss the video because one of our family members was sick and um, started receiving hospice care so um, we didn't want to give away you know too much information just trying to keep things private but um, that person was Koi's mom and he has been spending a lot of time with her these last few months and caring for her and she um, actually passed away on Tuesday so that took up a lot of our week um, just spending time with family and then we had her funeral on Friday um, she requested that it be private and um, you know just family so that kind of worked out because of the coronavirus and everything um, but it's been really nice to see all of the stories people have been sending Koi and just remembering her and what a wonderful person she was. So, um, we have amazing friends and family who have been so supportive and even if they haven't, you know, come or been able to see us you know, because they live far away or whatever, um, just everybody's been so amazing in reaching out and offering support and just checking in with us. So we appreciate that so much. And um, some of our cross-stitch friends, actually Kia and Nathan sent us something because we live you know, very far from them. And um, they said since they couldn't be here in person to you know, um, just provide that company, they wanted to send something to Koi to remember his mom and just be a nice um, kind of memento. So, and to make me cry. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what they did it for. I just oh. love it. So they sent this. One of the willow tree characters, I guess you'd call it. Yeah, so beautiful. So we're going to display this. Um, and along kind of the same lines as, you know, having something to remember her by and just to display to celebrate her, um, Koi got this from her home. And this is um, something she actually cross stitched. Is it good? Yeah. Um, she wasn't a big cross stitcher. She um, did the needlepoint, is that what you call with the yarn? She showed me some of those that she did and she loved to crochet. So she was certainly crafty. Um, but by the time we got into cross stitch, you know, she hadn't done it in a long time and um, couldn't remember a ton. But this is something that she had hanging up in her home. And um, we got all of her old supplies and yeah. thread and got some fabric from her so oh, yeah and you've been using that so that's yeah. nice yeah but that was a big life change for us if you will just remember us in your thoughts and prayers um you know as we we deal with that 
Um, as we told y'all last week about our cats, Koi just brought home that cat, Alakay. So we um, kept him and Simba separated and um, grew tired of that quickly. You know, having one locked up and the other one out and then trying to switch them and spend time with both of them and slowly introduce them to each other. It was just a whole thing. Um, so we finally let them out. When was that, Friday? Let them truly interact. No, I think it was... <laughs> the front door is just gonna rip off and... Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Um, Y'all can probably hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think it was before Friday. I don't even think it was oh, okay. a week. We didn't even make it that long. No, I think it was like Monday or Tuesday. There was some serious hissing and they were not having it for a minute. Um, but then one night and one morning they were kind of chasing each other around and it seemed like they were playing. So they're doing okay. Yeah, they're doing better than we expected in some ways. Um, so yeah, hopefully they'll even grow more close and then they'll really start having fun here soon. So Yeah, we can all hope. My brother Bryce um, did come and mentioned, you know, Alec Hay looks young. We don't know how old he is. So he may still be like a kid with a ton of that energy. And um, Simba is older. You know, we've had him for a while. Seven so years old, I think. An age difference certainly would have something to do with Simba not up for all of the playing that Alec Hay wants to do. So we'll see. I'm sure yeah. they'll, they'll figure it out. Um, happy Father's Day. Um, hope you enjoyed your weekend. If you're a father, you got to spend Father's Day with your father. Um, we enjoyed it. We did get to go see Koi's dad and um, ate some good food. So yeah, we always eat good. Yeah. Um, so last week's letter, the post credit scene, we just put it in there and didn't give any explanation. writing the letter to my friend Cassie. We just put that in there with no explanation. No, no context. <laughs> or, right, no context. Um, everybody said they loved it so much. So that's really nice that you've all enjoyed it and got a kick out if of it. If we would have done it this week, we would have had like natural sounds <laughs> to go along with like the, the ambiance. Right. But. So what had happened was, this was at the very beginning of COVID and um, I think kind of shutting down and I just thought to like, I don't know, back in the day, whenever you would write a letter during times of war or plague. Um, well, I think part of it was that we were, like we had just started Falls too, as well. And you started looking up the old language, like old words and stuff. I think I did this before Falls too. So whenever it got time for Falls too, I had the Jane Austen dictionary, like I knew Save, about I that and I had it saved, yeah. Um, and it, I just thought that would be so silly and fun um, to like look up, you know, old word for accountant, old word for supplies. Um, and then I got my family in on it. I sent it to our family chat and got my siblings and sister-in-law's um, suggestions. So that was just so much fun and just something to surprise her with. Um, so I would encourage you, you know, if there's somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while, you know, just to maybe consider writing a letter if you want to get really silly to do it in like an old kind of language. Yeah. All right, so next is our YouTube suggestion. Um, so we're kind of winging this one for this week, um, but it is one that I like to watch. Uh, Sarah doesn't watch it. Um, I'll show her bits and pieces every now and then. Um, but I don't remember how I happened upon it, but it's been a very interesting channel and it's called Baumgartner Restoration. Um, and he is an art restorer. So he takes old paintings and cleans them up and retouches them and reframes them if needed. And he's just a really, it's a really good channel. Um, he explains things that he's doing. Um, I've learned 
kind of, of an appreciation of art that I haven't had before. Um, and he's very good at what he does. And It's amazing. And he's got a very calming voice, too. So it's just a very pleasant thing to watch. I so. think he does, like, play music for the time, time lapse yeah. if he's, like, doing something. So it is really relaxing to watch. Um, and yeah. then the before and after is just stunning. Like, you can't even tell that he's done any work on it. It just looks like a pristine, original piece of art. So yeah, it's really cool. It's nice. So we'll link that below if you want to check that out. Yeah. Shout outs. Um, we had an Instagram person, Maine Moose Mom. I guess I need to know her name and say her name, huh? I had such a hard time with your Michelle. I had such a hard time with your Instagram name. I kept saying Maine Moon Mom. Oh my gosh. And then it made me laugh. It cracked me up. Maine Moose Mom Stitcher. Yeah, Michelle, thank you so much for posting that you were watching us. We have a yeah. ton of people um, that have come to our channel from your Instagram. So, so we really appreciate you. that. And we'll um, link her below if you want to follow her on Instagram. Another shout out um, was from Adventures in Stitching. Her name is Laura. She just did her first floss tube. So that was really nice. She listed in the description box that we were one of her favorites. So we appreciate that so much. And we will link her video below if you want to go check her out as well. Yeah. So thank you all for watching and shouting us out and liking us enough to share us with yeah. your friends. So it means it means a lot. It's um, exciting. And I guess we didn't cover it at the beginning, but um, thank you for uh, returning to watch us. If you're a returning viewer, um, if you're new to our channel, welcome as well. Um, that may be what I was actually going to write at some point on the itinerary. But anyways. We're writing it now. We will remember next time to say that. Um, but yeah, thank you for, for watching us. Um, it just means a lot that, you know, people are watching us for the first time and or coming back and um, watching us again or coming back for more. So yeah, um, it makes us feel good and we love to, to see the views and to see the comments especially mm -hmm. and to um, to and kind of get involved in that conversation. Yeah, and then on Instagram we can follow you back and see what you're stitching. So it's just yeah. like meeting new people. So Yeah, a lot of fun. All right, you ready to get into the stitching? I guess we're a couple minutes in now, so. Finally. Might as well. <laughs> um, new starts. This is a new start and a finish, but I just wanted to break up my two finishes this week because I have a lot to say about this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, um, new start. This is from Hello from Liz Matthews. Um, I have decided to stick with love is the name of it. It's a PDF on her Etsy shop um, as a part of her Black Lives Matter, um, you know, participation. What I didn't say last week whenever I said that I bought that um, was that she's doing a, don a donation, 100% of proceeds are donated to Justice for George Floyd Protest Bail Fund organization. So, um, you know, it is a really nice piece and I'm excited to FFO it and hang it up. And it was something just to like think on as I was stitching. But most importantly, all the proceeds are going to a good cause. So I didn't say that last time. I started that on Juneteenth, um, which I was excited to do. And um, somebody had mentioned that they wanted to start something that day and then I saw where EJ from Sunshine Stitchers had a sale going so I was like okay well for sure then I'm going to um, join in on this one so it was the diversity and inclusion and representation matters sale those are two different hashtags which we'll put um, in the description box and the people who hosted it are EJ with the Sunshine Sunshine Stitchers they're hilarious we were, like, yeah if you them. haven't if you haven't watched them um we would highly recommend it, especially the uh, Married with Stitches episode. That was yeah, that was, that a good, one was one. good. Diana and she is a false tuber of it is Kismet Stitches. Um, Jesse, which is Jesse Marie, does stuff false tube. Michelle, which is Michelle Bendy Stitchy, Resist Stitch, and Melanie Watkins are on Instagram. Um, Melanie Watkins is Soulful Planning Stitcher. So we'll. We have all of them listed in the description box if you want to follow them on Instagram and or check out their floss tube. Um, and then that 
sale if you didn't see it. That was so cool to see what everybody was working on to celebrate Juneteenth. Um, but I did that on Zweigart 32 count Belfast linen in lilac. That was some that you had bought from eBay. And then I used the Classic Color Works smoke. And I wanted to say, because so I know. So using all mustache. What? Both of those are mustache. Oh, but you told me to use this smoke. You told me to come get out of your bag, and that would be really free on here. Don't let him fool you that I stole something. No, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Not trying. I was about to be like, oh, no. Did I? Wait a minute. I wanted to make a comment about how close I got to the edge. You don't like to count. I mean. Well, I just wanted to make sure I had plenty of room over here, I mean, and I had plenty, plenty of room. Because it was 32 count instead of 28. But um, as much as I have watched Chelsea on Priscilla and Chelsea, I should know better than to get over soap. But I'll sew some fabric there on the edge to have enough to pull That's over. That's going to be like your thing. Like, what am I doing? Oh. But that was so fun and a quick stitch. So I'm excited to get that done. And um, you suggested that I take that one to work. And I think I will do that. Yeah. Um, that'll be nice in my office. We're running out of room here. <laughs> no, we've got plenty of wall space. Um, whips. You want to go ahead and do yours? Yeah. So mine again is Overwatch. Um, I can't remember if I had either one of these outlined last time, but I've outlined two characters, and then I'll have a third one up there. Um, like Sarah said, with everything going on last week, um, didn't get much stitching time, and we didn't have our stitching call over the weekend, um, and so I have not stitched that much. So, yep. um, have to get back on it. Got to get back onto it. And, Cody's uh, ready for that to be done. Yeah, I am too. I'm ready <laughs> to, to move on. And like I said, I may do another start this week. Mm -hmm. I was going to do it last week, but um, maybe, yeah. maybe this week. That's so, exciting. Yeah. So my punch needle, I didn't do much on Halloween Jack. Um, I did oh, a little bit on the leaves, in the leaves, I guess I should say. There are a couple rows of that color. And then I started outlining the end in Halloween. So all of those letters will be outlined in orange. And then I'll start filling in that little hill there or whatever that is. Um, but that is Halloween Jack, Teresa Kogut punch needle. So I'm enjoying that still. I did a tiny little bit on the Secret Garden sale. This is um, the Stitching Book Club. That is on 32 Counts Weigart Belfast Linen and Antique White, which I coffee tea dyed really dark. And I'm using just whatever colors I've got that are close to theirs. I just started some more of the flower on the top. I am behind on this one. So I've really got to get on it get caught up but I think that's part of the fun of a stitch along it's like you see everybody else getting so their pieces done you so you're like oh I no, I need to do that so gotta catch up my last finish is um, coffee first this is by Lumens Fiber Arts Misty I did it on 28 counts so I got Lugana white fabric and then I did a muted floss conversion so I finally finished that one it's really good. I'm so excited to get that one FFO. And you said you had people asking about your floss conversion. Yeah, somebody was specifically asking about the cup, coffee cup, and the pink flowers. So I'll have to look back. Um, I wrote it down on the, the paper. Like I put what color I was using next to each symbol. And well, maybe we can just list that color. Under, sure. under there so it's there. Yep. Yeah. Um, but I want to put that in the kitchen. So again, I would like to put that behind glass. So we'll figure out Maybe we can try Lacing that one. So it'll be really nice and flat for behind the glass. Just have to wait and see No FFO But I did want to shout out Helen D. Hey um, Helen <laughs> You probably saw Helen with Barbie at um, No, I didn't did I? Okay. She did a finishing tutorial, a uh, um, flat finish, and it was really nice, um, especially to see like how she did the trim or the um, cording, is that what you call them? The little mm -hmm. rope. So um, that was really nice just to see how she did it and get some good tips 
to try a different way than what I have been doing. So yeah. we'll link that below if you want to check that out as well. So next is haul. Um, so as we said last week, Janine McGowan did her first floss tube episode. Now she's got a second one out. And um, I we, went crazy. Yeah, we watched this. We watched her first episode and Koi saw um, something that made him say, let me go over here and look at her patterns. And he bought a lot of her stuff. And maybe you'll find a theme. <laughs> um, but we got Spring Squirrel. Autumn squirrel, winter squirrel with a little sweater, summer squirrel with another. Oh, the watering can one? Yeah, oh no, that was a little, a little, little helmet. And I think that's her most recent one. That's the one she released at market. Yeah, 2020. Mm -hmm. And then Halloween squirrel. Oh my gosh. So, so adorable. Let me look at them again. Um, I didn't know there were other squirrels. I knew about the one at market and we got some of those for our shop, but, um, yeah, the Halloween squirrel, he's got like a little cape on and this one looks like a princess and she's got her little trick or treat basket. And then the spring one's got the watering can and the oh, little hat. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Like I can't, these are too adorable. So those are mine and I'm going to be stitching those. Oh, okay. So. I see. Um, we also went to Goodwill. We couldn't help ourselves and we wore a mask and we found a bag of cow stitch. And I was like, no, let's not get it. We've got a ton of old magazines. And Koi said, well, you have to buy it to see what's inside. And that made it kind of fun. That was kind of like a grab bag or a surprise bag. So we, um, we did get it and got some pretty cool old, um, books. And then we even got some like, printed old charts school, like hand drawn charts um so say 1980 yeah but there were some really snarky ones in here probably shouldn't say real old and then say 1980 because that's not okay. i did not mean to be old. rude i just mean like they're not nice and printed in there's color a lot of like people that just like turned us off. no i'm sorry um but there were some really snarky ones um, there was one like if the Lord wanted me to see the sunrise, he made it later in the day, and just like really funny. Cute I may have stuff. to stitch that one. Um, there was a Georgia Tech one in here, and like teacher patterns. So that was a really cool find. Little teensy tiny um, Christmas ornaments and little Christmas things. So well, that one is actually hand drawn right there. Yeah. Yeah, so just a yeah, lot this of one cool. says there ought to be a better way of starting the day than by getting up in the morning. So Yeah, I may have to stitch that. Yep. Yeah. Because I'm not a morning person at all. So that's always fun where we find cross stitch at your thrift store. Yeah. Um but that was all of our haul. I don't know what I was talking about last week whenever I said that I needed to show the Christmas in July this week because we still have time. We got that. That's considered fall. Yeah. Interrupt your regularly scheduled programming. Um, so, in Mom's craft stuff, um, I found these and figured that they would be cool things for finishing. So these are like just wooden, I don't know, like crate tops. And then, I don't know, are these just called hoops? Well, there is a hoop, but then... I'm not sure what these are. So if you know what these are called, they, they're like a small, they've got a lip on them, but they're... Woven. Yeah, I mean, you could even cross stitch on that, but I've got... We've got some smaller ones as well. Three different... These are large. Three different sizes. So, yeah. super excited to figure out how we can use these for finishing or displaying something yeah, so that'll be really cool just some more stuff that we can use that's from mom's house yeah so really cool if you have any ideas let us know yeah for sure um so i will show my christmas in july plans next time i'll get together all that i want to work on in july 
Um, so the craft fair for Do you, you have a hashtag for, for that yet? I think there is a Christmas in July cross stitch. At least there's like Christmas cross stitch and winter cross stitch. But okay. I'll see what I can round up and we'll link those for sure as well so we can all see what we're stitching. Yeah. So the craft fair emporium, Heather did whip up some more bags this week. And some of these are specifically for um, Christmas in July. So there's a cute bird one. Red bird. And then on the outside, it's got white fabric with white snowflakes. So really pretty. And she's got the snowflake zipper pool. These are some sunshine. Um, oh, happy day ones. She made some of these before. Um, they cute. Yeah, so pretty and springy, summery. I like that one with the hummingbird as well and the regular bird. Bird houses, flowers. This one is so cute. Chickens and farmhouse. Got the red gingham, sunflowers. Oh, so cool. This one's really cute with the winter Christmas bears. And then the outside is the white snowflake again. Those are cool. Yeah. She made a Star Wars one, which is really cool. I like the outside fabric on that one too. This one is a happy camper um, Christmas winter theme. And then this one is a winter patriotic one. So it says like liberty and justice for all in there. And then it's got snow on the trees and um, looks like Christmas trees with snow on them. So, yep. so perfect for your um, Christmas dishing. So we've got those in the shop already if you want to run over and get yours. We've Thank got a you lot, for all the business. A lot, lot of fabric to to produce other bags, so got to get on that. You got to get the sewing project. That's the thing. We're gonna get the cats on it. Just everybody, all hands yeah. on deck. Um, I think that's it. If you know, like you said earlier, if you will, just like this video and invite people over if you think they'd enjoy it as well. We're really enjoying making these, so. And we have reached a milestone. <gasps> Um, so we have a thousand subscribers. So in addition to this video, um, we're going to have like a celebratory blooper slash behind the scenes video. Um, so if you're watching this one and haven't seen that one, um, it should be posted already. Um, or if not, keep checking back and it'll be posted soon after this one. Um, I don't know what order we're actually going to post these in, but um that'll be a separate video and it's basically going to be a collection of all of our bloopers and behind the scenes for the i guess first what seven seven false tubes so yeah. um be a fun video to watch and um excited to to make that one so um until next time we bid you adieu Cheerio.